welcome to the video lectures on technical si by shravan kumar mantri coming to the question number 2 given an array of integers we need to write a function that returns true if there is a triplet a b a comma b comma z that satisfies a square plus b square equals c square so if you see this question the input is array of integers in that integers you need to find out is there any triplet what is the meaning of triplet here that means let us suppose if you find a b c are triplets there it should satisfy that is a square plus b square equals to c square so we need to find like this let us suppose if i consider an example like this which consisting of five integers in that is there any triplet exists yes there is a triplet that is 3 comma 4 comma 5 so first it has to print that is true that means there exists a triplet then we need to find out we need to print what is the triplet that is our question here if you take this example also 10 4 6 12 5 is there any triplet no you cannot find like sum of squares of any two integers will not make the square of another integer so you cannot find in this one that's why it will print only false let us suppose if i take like this uh, total number of elements are 7 as well as if i take like the elements are 3 1 8 5 6 4 10 so if you ask for what are the triplets here not only one triplet you have two triplets so what are those two triplets one is 3 comma 4 comma 5 another one is 6 comma 8 comma 10 so our output should print true as well as it needs to print these two triplets so like this the question is so how to find the answer so we'll see the program in C here so this is a program where it explains the given question so we'll see this program and we'll see this logic too so i have taken an array m and i have taken the variables which are required and also i have taken x equals to zero so why this x equals zero is required means in order to get if the x value is remains zero at the end of the execution we can conclude that your array doesn't have any triplet if the value of x is 1 that means your array has at least one triplet so for that purpose like we'll take the things like flag sometimes we'll take like flag flag equals 0 so in somewhere if you find an an existing property we'll make it as flag equals to one then we'll check for what is the flag value if the flag value is one that property exists otherwise that property doesn't exist like this i'll take x equals to zero here of course here n number of elements i'm scanning then i'm going for what are those elements all are storing in the m of i that is an array now here you can see the logic so here i'm taking nested for loop that is i j as well as k so for i i am taking the first value that is m of 0 into a and second value that is j equals to i plus 1 that is the second value into b and also k so that is a third value so you can observe here let us suppose if i take this one as an array a value will become 3 b value will become 1 c value will become 4 so like this we have taken initially so now what happens a b c three consecutive values i have taken here for this three consecutive values what i am checking here you can see see here this nested for loop is for all this logic so i am checking you can see a into a is equals to b into b plus c into c or like what i am checking is if i find a comma b comma c is a triplet i need to check for either of these three conditions what are those three conditions either a square plus b square equals to c square or b square plus c square equals to a square or c square plus a square equals to b square if any one of these three conditions is true then i can say a b c are triplets of course that is our question so that's why i'm checking here you can see this logic either a square is equals to b square plus c square or b square equals to a square plus c square or c square equals to a square plus b square if any one of this condition so i have taken here logical or so if the any one of this condition is true i can make x equals to one that means i found a triplet so now i am printing what is the triplet here you can see so if i find triplet i am simply coming out of that a special uh, that block and again checking for is there any other triplet 
like here I have taken k equals to j plus 1 next k will become j plus 2 that means I'll check 3 1 6 that is a b c values are 3 1 6 is there any triplet next I'll check 3 1 5 is there any triplet no next I'll take 3 4 6 next I'll take 3 4 5 see this is a process we'll consider and if I go at the end so I'll print I'll get all the triplets here so this is a logic we'll follow to get the triplet now you can see after execution of all these for loops when it comes out of the for loop if x value will become one means yes true that means you found at least one triplet so that you will print as true now else that means if the value of x is still remains zero then you can say that false that means you don't find any triplet so like this we need to answer the questions asked like finding the triplet like this so you can also try for something triplet not only a square plus b square you can try like this is there any triplet or like this a plus b equals to c so what you need to do there simply everything is common and simply you need to change this if condition so try to do that one we'll see the next question in the next video lecture thank you